Defense Center of the Michigan. Presented by Serena Promotions in association with Group Ivan Michel and dedicated to the Sears International Women's Day on Monday, March 8th. Super Women, Shield vs. Dakari will be distributed on Fi TV and Vibe Network and distributed by in demand to their existing cable satellite and telco providers at 9 p.m. Eastern, Eastern Time for just $29.95. We've specifically scheduled this event to be on March 8th, International Women's Day, and this fight is not only going to be broadcast here in the United States, but will also be seen in China, Argentina, Panama, Canada, Africa. Poland, Russia, Philippines, and possibly several other countries. <clears throat> I'd like to thank the Michigan State Athletic Commission, the Door Center, the press that has come here today. I'd like to thank Mr. Mark Taffet, uh, Clarissa's manager, and uh, one of the all-time great boxing business folks who who's actually uh, invented the pay-per-view model. Uh, he's been instrumental in making sure that this first all-women's card uh, is a success. So thank you, Mark. You know, this event has really been a year in the making. Uh, literally a year ago, we were supposed to have a press conference to first announce this fight, but then the pandemic came, and the initial date of May 9th was canceled. Uh, shortly thereafter, we tried to reschedule the fight several times to no fruition. Uh, and uh, in about December, we uh, uh, communicated and thought that the best way to promote this fight is to do it ourselves on pay-per-view. Uh, there were many reasons why uh, Marie Dakari could have said no and chosen to not take this fight, but she is a uh, real world champion and uh, decided to stick to it, to thick and fit, and to different variations of the view. So I'd like to thank her, and I want to thank uh, her promoter, uh, Ivan Michel, who's been phenomenal to work with. I'd like to invite him to say to you. Thank you, Dmitry. Bonjour, everybody. You can't believe how thrilled we are to be here today. J'aimerais souhaiter la bienvenue à tous ceux qui nous écoutent en français sur rds.ca présentement. Hats off, really, Dimitri and the Mark Taffet for everything you have done uh, for to produce that event. It has been very difficult. We know uh, about it, but you. Put you you have showed a lot of determination to be to put on this historical event, and we have really a lot of respect and admiration for you. A lot of uh, respect and admiration also for Clarissa Shield, that uh, she, she did everything she had to do uh, to to have this event to be a special one, a special one for women, uh, uh, to make sure that one day the woman. Uh, the, title fight will be equal uh, to uh, any man fight because the quality of the athlete is uh, has nothing to be ashamed of if you compare with the man. So we arrived yesterday, everything was fine, uh, it's a great promotion, uh, we, we have encountered uh, no problem uh, so on uh, so far. Um, I want to apologize for my strong French accent. You know, I can't deny my roots, and uh, I'm proud of it. But Larissa, we probably, you probably misunderstood me uh, the other day when I spoke about the Roy Jones uh, Jr. I didn't mean to compare Marguerite to Roy Jones' skill, athleticism, or what she has done. No, my comparison was about her commitment, her dedication, her desire to be better every day. And, and this is where my comparison stands. You will find about uh, Mariette Zikar, and by the way, again, it's Zikar, not Dickery, Zikar. <laughs> I was trying to find a word to describe Mariette Zikar. And I searched, no, she's quick, she's dedicated, she's. Uh, strong, but the best word I found, and um, forgive me for the choice of the word, but she's contagious, really, she's contagious. She beautifies everything she's touching. She enthusiasm everybody who works with her. She can convince the most skeptical to her cause. And in the ring, she can persuade, and she always did, and convince her, her opponent, that she's the best of the two. 
So be careful, Clarissa, when she's touching you, and the ring is very corrosive. <laughs> J'inviterai tous les gens qui nous écoutent au Québec à acheter l'événement. C'est un événement réellement spécial. C'est disponible euh, à Canal Indigo, Bell TV, Shot TV, sur Fight.tv ou sur Yo. Euh, vous pouvez acheter cet événement-là et faire partie de cet événement-là. Thank you very much for your attention. At this point, I'd like to introduce uh, to the microphone the IBF uh, Super Welterweight Champion, Marie Abdicat. Hi everyone, thank you for being there. Thank you Yvonne for the great words. Um, honestly, I don't know, uh, with the context that we know right now in the world pandemic, that it is a good thing to be contagious, but uh, <laughs> I'm gonna take the compliment. Um, I'm happy to be here, I'm thrilled to be here. Like uh, Dimitri and Yvonne said before, it's been a hell of a year. A year that uh, was made with postponed with deception, with disappointment, but now it's finally on. I'm here, I'm there, and I'm enjoying every moment of this adventure. Uh, when I became, when I was a kid, I always dreamt of becoming a world champion. And when I became a world champion, I was like, is that it? Is there something else? Is there something more? And this is where I started to focusing on being a not, uh, the undisputed champion. Facing Clarissa Shields is for me the opportunity of a lifetime. I worked all my life to get here. I worked, I sweat, my blood, my tears made me here. So for sure, I'm going to be 100% in the ring. And I would like to take, I would like to, to take the time to thank the person who made that possible. So thank you, Dimitri. Thank you, Clarissa. Thank you, Mark. And most of all, thank you, Yvonne. And thank you, Stéphane, Samuel, Marc Andre, GFPGF, all my team that worked the whole time with me, my whole career, is still there with me, and I'm chilled. I, I'm looking forward for Friday. For tous ceux et celles qui nous écoutent à la maison, merci. Même si je suis à des kilomètres et des kilomètres de chez moi, j'ai l'impression que vous êtes ici avec moi. Vos mots d'encouragement me donnent des ailes, me donnent du courage. J'ai l'impression que tous et chacun, vous êtes ici dans la ligne avec moi. Vendredi, je vous promets que je vais être à la hauteur de vos attentes. Je vous promets que je vais faire honneur à mon pays et à ma province de Québec. Merci à vous tous. C'est un rendez-vous vendredi. Clarissa Shields versus Marie Picard. 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 And Clarissa, known as the GOAT, uh, is not only known as the GOAT because she's two-time Olympic gold medalist, the only man and woman in the history of the United States. It's not only known as the GOAT because she's a multi-time amateur national champion, multi-time world champion, multi-time international games champion, multi-time professional world champion, the fastest man or woman in the history of the sport to be a three-division champion, super middleweight, middleweight, undisputed, world champion and junior middle world champion. She is the goal because she uses her spot in the sunlight, her spot uh, in using her talent for social significance, for quality, for empowerment. And Clarissa understands that, uh, her, uh, that her talent is God's gift and that she is using it in every way possible to uh, push forth these very important initiatives in our culture. So you don't have to be a boxing fan, you don't have to be a women boxing fan to order this event uh, on Friday night. You have to be a fan and a supporter of equality and empowerment and of all things right in, in society. So with that, I'd like to inv invite the quote to Shields to talk about Friday night. Champagne. <clears throat> First of all, all my all my fans who bought pay per view, um, who haven't bought it, make sure you guys go to FIT TV and buy pay per view. This is a huge moment for me and Marie to care. Um, I wanted to thank God just for being there with me throughout this whole time because I have never been off of boxing for 13 months, and 
I've never wanted to get back inside the ring so much. Like training is okay, sparring is cool, but I don't have that same intensity that I have when it like actually comes to the fight and the belt is on the line and you fight against a whole other country. To be honest, some of my hardest fights in the amateurs came from girls that were from Canada. And um, even though I was very victorious in all of those fights, 771 in the amateurs, um, still I believe that Canada had a strong background for boxing, so I'm excited to be inside the ring with someone like, like Marie Easy Care, who I feel wants to win as much as me and uh, can accept how big this moment is, you know? So um, I think everybody is gonna have an, you're gonna be in for a good fight. And um, this is a, just a great moment. Just just rewind some. I can't forget to thank my promoter, Dimitri, my manager, Mark Tassi, um, God, once again. And I want to thank all my friends and my family and even my fans who reached out to me during this time because I don't box for a hobby. It's not something that I do because it's fun. You know, I, I do it because it's fun, but it's not a hobby. It's like, it's my career. And I really love boxing with all my heart. And I feel like some people underestimate that when they um, look at how I speak of how great I am. You know, if I never would have said how great I am, no one in this room would ever would have called me great. Because mm -hmm. you just don't recognize it. Mm -hmm. Only greats know that they're great. Like Muhammad Ali. Nobody called him the greatest of all time. They actually called him the lose your lip. Because he talked too much, right? But if he would have never said that he was the greatest of all time, he would not be considered the greatest of all time right now. No matter what boxer comes along, nobody can get in front of Muhammad Ali. That's how I feel about myself. Muhammad Ali is first, Chris Jim is second. I am the greatest woman of all time, and 98% of the men in this world can't beat me. Keeping it real. So, as we get forward for March 5th, you guys, I want you to know, I'm not taking no prisoners. This is a new era for me. My name from now on is Clarissa the Wolf Shield. T-Rex has long gone. <laughs> Okay, T-Rex had the short arms, T-Rex was aggressive, but great woman of all time possessed a lot more. She possessed poise, power, punch placement, and that's what you will see on Friday. So I hope everybody tune in, get those tickets that are available. It's probably about like 100 more tickets, maybe 50, I don't know. But I know that we sold out at the door of federal for the capacity of COVID. And um, everybody who's in my perfect view, make sure you guys buy it. To all my celebrity friends who posted me on your page, Thank you very much. Not going to let this moment go by without telling you guys thank you. You are a part of this movement just as much as I am. And uh, you guys using, using your platform to support me means the world. So um, that's really much all I have to say. And I look forward to getting in the ring with, with, with uh, Marie Easy Care. And I see in the interview she said she's not worried about the outcome. She's worried about the past. Well, I'm worried about the outcome. The task is already... I already know the task is, I've known the task is for the last 13 months. This year, I'm concerned about the outcome because I don't like losing. I, I, when I lost my first fight when I was seven, when I was 17, I didn't sleep again until I was 21 when I won the second Olympics. So that's how personal that I take this fight. And I'm hoping that she can bring out a different side of me because a lot of girls have not been able to give me the gold cap level three. And I'm hoping she can give me the level two. Amen. That was good. Ivan, I know you said that Marie is contagious. You know, the uh, United States just announced the one-shot vaccine. That's good. That's good. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, I want to say once again that the file will be available on. Uh, Fight.tv, uh, in demand, uh, for all those cable subscribers, 9 p.m. pay for you live! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> first, first, first talk about tickets. Yesterday, Governor Whitman opened up another 125 seats, but I believe 70% of those were gone overnight. So there's probably another 30, 40 tickets left. Uh, those that want to attend the fight should get the ticket. And as I said, for all Caruso's fights, those ticket stuffs are going to be a storm. We're going to save them, and people are going to talk about attending Caruso's fights. And people are going to talk about all this pay-per-view and watching this all one fight on my face. So thank you so much for coming. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, we'll see you all uh, very soon.